All right, so we're back with another video for you guys, another reaction video. Today, we're going to be uh, talking about CJ So Cool and Royalty's uh, child custody case. It is getting pretty crazy, folks. Now, I'm sure you guys all seen some uh, court documents. Shout out to uh, BSC TV. He went live and dropped some court documents. Also, nothing but the truth. She also published uh, some documents, some pictures, some pretty, uh, pretty interesting pictures of uh cj so cool um but the court documents they're public records i mean anybody can really find them um if you know where to look i mean there is a lot of documents um and i just don't really have that time to go through all these documents there's so many documents um but it seems like to me seems like a uh, royalty is really doing this really strategic while cj so cool is like falling for it like i guess he's like bragging all over social media for the views um well, i guess he has to do it for the views to pay off the loans that he's been getting left and right um so i guess he's doing it for the views it has to be and at the same time he's just giving royalty more than enough evidence like she's building a pretty uh pretty solid case I mean, one could argue she is. I mean, with all the exhibits that she has, uh, or I guess her lawyer has uh, has presented, um, some of which, I mean, I might have a hard time uh, believing, like the fact that um, they posted an exhibit of CJ So Cool. And that, that's what he put out there, that his house is like $12 million or something like that. His house is not $12 million. But he's doing it, obviously, for clout and views. It's probably more like two maybe two to three million dollars, something along those lines. But I mean, he's just putting it, he's putting all that stuff out there unnecessarily, which is really hurting him because that means she will get more money in the event that there is child custody, um, child support paid out to her, uh, in my opinion. But let's check out, because really the credit here is BSC TV and nothing but the truth. I mean, I could show you court documents like all these documents that we kind of scrolled uh past but i mean it would get pretty boring just reading off document after document after document whereas bsc tv just jumped to the uh he has the one with all the exhibits where um basically like i said uh royalty or her lawyer they're playing this real strategic they're really going after every single thing that man bragged about the gucci shit it's crazy that this man spent forty thousand dollars on uh, on Lexi and I guess Kamari, mostly Lexi and him, but won't fix his grandmother's house. It's been like almost a week now. He hasn't fixed it. I mean, he hasn't fixed it for years. So now he's back doing this, and now I kind it kind of makes sense to me why he's hiring employees because I saw all these job posts. I'm like, damn, he's posting all these positions. Is he trying to reduce his taxable income at this point? Like he's trying to do all these last minute things. It's really starting to look like uh, the people around him are um, are really just taking advantage of him. Like, seems like there like there's nobody on his team, maybe aside from his lawyer, um, that's really guiding him in the right direction. It seems like everybody around him is just really using him for money or clout. That seems to be the only reason they're really around him. At least from my observations. I mean, everybody's going to be entitled to their own opinion, but let's uh, check out bsc tv because he really broke this down like like i said i mean we could go through all these documents but i'd be boring you guys damn kiara he was a lawyer <laughs> he's so funny man kiara was the lawyer man this right here is from the family court charlene young through her attorney kiara that's on the panel taylor Long. that's Gold. me that's me they put out exhibit a through H. <laughs> Fo exhibit B. Photo of plaintiff threatening suicide. Whoa. Damn. I think that's the one that uh, Nothing But The Truth posted. If you guys haven't checked out her channel, she dropped a video. I think it was yesterday. Might have been two days ago by the time you guys watched this video. Photo of plaintiff which is cordero james brady threatening suicide because royalty wouldn't come back y'all people playing with this man pretending that y'all support this man y'all bogus for that i knew y'all was weird that's why i couldn't fuck with it i knew it 
this man is sending photos threatening to kill himself and y'all playing around and running around worried about a ice and a rico and a music video and all that i mean there's only one uh actually there's like maybe three there's like two two women maybe three women and there's one idiot which we're not going to even mention their channel names but we all know that one clown and this clown it's crazy how this one clown with the YouTube channel, um, he's the only one that's kind of like talking constant shit every single day. He's dropping like literally back to back to back to back to back to back videos. There's got to be over 200 videos back to back on royalty. This dude has a criminal background. He was in jail and he wants to make videos trying to, I guess, make it, make it seem like he's a subject matter expert. Like, dude, you're not a subject matter expert. If you were such an expert, your ass wouldn't have been in jail, idiot. He wants to sit on YouTube and drop all these back-to-back -back videos trying to pretend like he's so smart and he knows how this, the court system works. No, because if you knew how it works, your ass wouldn't have been in jail, idiot. Like, this dude... I'm not even going to mention his channel name. That dude is a real goofy. Hey, shit. When the Kool-Aid man needs help. How you ban me ban this motherfucker? He keep coming up. Okay, when the Kool-Aid man actually needs help. He needs help. Photo of plaintiff drawing a weapon with children present at recent exchange when he pulled the gun out. At the exchange. He was the only person. See, you people are idiots. And his mother and him is an idiot for even listening to y'all. You're the only person pulled the gun out, dumbass. What do you expect? You're the only person that did that. Nobody else pulled out a gun. I don't give a fuck who's there. There be 10 million people there. You're the only person pulled out a gun. You're technically the only dangerous person in the building. You were on the street there. Nobody else pulled a gun. Nobody approached you. None of that. He said they were... Well, remember, he said that... Uh, he said royalty brought the goons out. Like, CJ's doing all this for views. That's the problem. He he, he really thinks, like, by making the views or whatever, that that's somehow going to help the case. Maybe. But it doesn't seem likely when you pull out a real firearm with real bullets in it. So think about the worst-case scenario. You could have easily shot somebody. Somebody could have easily died... I don't think this man, CJ, gets it. This is why I said, like, this isn't, like, a joke. This man is really, like, armed and dangerous doing shit like that. With kids in the car, like, you you, you could have easily put anybody at at risk with your actions. Talking about all his self-defense. It ain't no self-defense because he had a clear path to exit the scene. It wasn't like he was surrounded by people. It wasn't like he was blocked by people. He could have easily left the scene. No, he chose to make a big scene out of it. So let's let's stop with our, all that goofy stories that is stupid supporters. Like these dudes like that be in his comment section egging him on. They're really like putting him in the wrong direction. He was in no, there was absolutely no fear for his life. Just a group of people around. That's not fear for life. They're not, they're not attacking him. The Bank of America statement that he put on the internet he put out his finances and he pretended yeah. to be broke. I'm sir, on it. I got all this shit. Sir, you're an idiot. You put out finances. You put out your Bank of America statement showing about seven accounts. Each account had money in it. I don't give a fuck if it was $100. Each account had money in it. You was able to access funds out of that account. Young man. Photo of plaintiff current YouTube earnings breakdown. And the thing is, it's... It's not so much, I mean, it's not even so much the fact that he he showed all this shit, which could possibly hurt his case against royalty. But the fact is, you're putting it out there for other people, other eyes to look at this stuff. And considering what happened to your ass during that home invasion, why would you put yourself, why would you repeat the same mistakes? Like, like I said, this dude's got to have people around him that are like just leading him in the wrong direction. There's nobody on his team that actually has a clue as to what's really going on. Like he's really like he he's being directed in all sorts of wrong directions. And I, I guess the people around him, they're just really looking at him as a way. They're looking at him either as a, a, a money making machine or someone that could give him clout or, you know, get him popular I don't know what it is. It's kind of weird. Um, but all the all the idiots 
that uh like like royalty said hope all those little channels that use my my name enjoyed they little come up it's only one big clown it's not even that big because that dude barely has like ten thousand subscribers at least right now um and that dude tries to act like he's so smart but if he was so smart he would have had he would have never been in jail idiot but how come you were in jail in the past so if you knew how the system works and you knew how things really operate how come your ass was in jail like that don't make a whole lot of sense so this is what i mean like you gotta stop surrounding yourself with a bunch of idiots that act like they're experts all right it don't make sense he bragged about making ninety thousand dollars dragging a, his baby mother and her family that's weird oh no we went a little bit further to get this information you guys what we actually did was we got this off of his well we'll get into that later yeah, we'll but we, we got the whole breakdown of the youtube yeah yeah this is all public knowledge. And it's photo, all public information. All public information for sure. Photo of pub fo, photo of plaintiff spending forty thousand dollars at Gucci in one outing. This is recent. This yes. is recent. Yes. All of this stuff here. They yeah, that's the one where I was just talking about it earlier. You guys saw it on on Lexi's Instagram, his Instagram. So you spent forty thousand dollars on this on this white girl that you just barely met a year ago, but you're hesitant to fix your uh, grandma's house. And then when he showed up at her house, he was talking about, oh, we should reach out to the mayor and to the government officials so we can start with your house. It's like, how come you didn't do all that, all that talk when you went and spoiled uh, Lexi at all these places? But when it comes to your own family, your own grandmother, you want the city to do it. You want government officials to step in and fix the city. But why don't your ass fix it the same way you easily spent that $40,000 at Gucci on, like, useless shit? Like, that dude, CJ, is real fake. That's what I'm coming to realize. Like, everything he does is just, like, for views and clicks. Like, he's really putting out there this false-ass image. Like, this dude don't even care about his own family. Like, his grandmother's house, his roof is falling apart. It's got holes, there's mold, it's all like that's why they were making fun of her. If you actually watched Nike's video, they were all like holding their noses and shit. It's like embarrassing. That man tried to make try to make a positive video, but anything, if anything, you really embarrassed your grandmother. And it kind of shows that you are a big ass fool yourself. Him there is recent. Listen to him destroy himself with recent things. That's because he didn't want those babies. He don't want to, he don't he, he don't want to be the father he don't want to be the pamper changer he's like kenneth kenneth don't want to be the father kenneth want to play well see i would say cj's a better father. cj don't want them damn kids cj's just doing this because he doesn't want to lose so he's gonna do whatever he's gonna fight this as much as he can because he doesn't want to he doesn't want to be viewed as the the person that lost against royalty he wants to always be that winner because he, it's all ego to him you know, I'm the guy with 9 million subscribers. I'm one of the biggest YouTubers. I put on other people. I think it really comes to, at the end of the day, that he wants to be the winner. He wants royalty to lose so bad, so he'll do anything for her to lose. Um, that's just kind of like my observations from watching. But if he has to get a nanny full time to take care of those kids when he has nothing else to do, like... All his content is inside the house. So you clearly have, you might not have a whole lot of time, but you have definitely a lot of time to take care of those kids. And the way you make it seem like you're all excited, you're you're up for it, like you're ready to be a father figure, doesn't seem like it. Um, doesn't seem like it, man. Because when you didn't, you guys didn't have a nanny when you were with royalty. How come with, with Lexi you, you want a nanny? Like, I don't get it. When you were with uh, Royalty. Did he have a nanny when he was with Royalty? Let me know in the comment section. I haven't been watching this guy for many, many years. But I don't recall him ever having a nanny. At least in the last couple of years. He might have had it maybe at the start. When uh, they first got the kids. I don't remember. I don't get it. I'm going to be honest. But CJ don't want to be that full-time father. He don't want to be that full-time father. He just want Royalty to comply with his rules. And it's not going to happen. He wants to make the rules and the decisions and all of that, and it's not going to happen. She's not allowing it. She's not slow, and she's not weird. Yeah, yeah. Those are facts. So she's not doing it. That's dumb. Why the fuck would I give away my control? <laughs> You're an idiot, Kool-Aid man. Photo of, a, 
photo of an eleven point six million dollar home announcement. You gonna have to tell the truth, Kool Aid. Have to let it be known, sir. You gonna have to tell the truth. Let it be clear. See, that's what I told that idiot before. I was like, you should have never even mentioned that house. You should have never, ever mentioned that house. Now, we know that house is in $11, $12 million. It doesn't look like a $12 million house. $12 million houses are usually not in a community with other houses like that unless the whole community is like a billion-dollar community. And that doesn't seem to be highly like it um, in Vegas. I've seen homes in Vegas that are like $6 million that in my state, they're like $20 million. So his house is not even 12 million it's actually more like two to three million so this mouth his mouth is getting him and more like it's crazy the, the way this dude brags he, he's doing anything for views it's crazy and people are directing him in the wrong ass direction like man you gotta get it together and stop all this damn bragging all he does is brag, I spent this, I bought this, I spent this, I bought this, I spent this, I bought this. Like, what's the purpose of that? What does that get you? Like, it just makes you, like, it really just makes you a bigger target, if anything. Driving a Lamborghini with with a big-ass sign on it and having your name all over it, I don't, I mean, it's marketing, but it's also creating a target out of for you. Like, I, I, I don't understand it. A photo of 11.6 million. All this could have been settled with six thousand dollars that you said. She didn't say six thousand. She said you was giving me two thousand. You ain't gave me two thousand in three months. So that's six K. You get what I'm saying? Let me get that six K. We can link up. We can finish doing how we was doing it. It could be back regular. You get what I'm saying? It could be back regular. It's six K. It could be back regular. You can do what you need to do. It can be back regular. You wanted to make the rules. You wanted her. You wanted her kids to be around your girlfriend, but they couldn't be around her friend. That's insane. You wanted to be the leader. A photo of the plaintiff, ten million dollar, ten thousand dollar giveaway. The Kool Aid Man got a ten thousand dollar giveaway allegedly supposed to be coming up. Yeah, this is all facts. Hey, hold on. Hey, talk to you. I gotta get my charge. Okay. All right, so you guys can watch the rest of it on uh, BSC TV's uh, channel. Shout out to BSC TV and Nothing But The Truth. They've been dropping a whole lot of receipts. Uh, I mean, I mean, a lot of this stuff is public records. I mean, we kind of glanced over it. I mean, it's not worth it to go because this isn't really like this is something that BSC TV and Nothing But The Truth have been really exploring for the last, you know, month or so two months so they they have more details on this stuff um i just have kind of like an overview understanding and if anything cj's just really like cj is making it real easy let me tell you he's making it real easy for royalty i don't know if that royalty will get twenty thousand. she might even get more than that she might get less than that but she's definitely going to get something because the way cj has been bragging non-stop about all these assets or more like liabilities really um, it's just really hurting him because if you look at her, she looks like she's not doing that well. Like she, she's putting on the image that, you know, she's not financially there. And then obviously people talking about how broke she is, how dusty, musty, all that un unnecessary shit that he's putting out there, all this drama that he's created. It's funny how he said several times on live that he would stop talking about her, but he goes back to talking about it because that's the only way he's going to get views out of these drama. I told you guys, all these couples' channels rely heavily on drama. That's the only way it works. Once once the kids are out of the picture, once royalty is out of the picture completely, CJ's content is going to fall through the... Nobody cares about no damn Lexi. Nobody cares about that white girl. Nobody cares about her. She's not... She's not, I mean, she might be nice, attractive, but she's not, she's not, she doesn't cut it for his content. Like people might watch her for one month, two months, three months, and then eventually it's just, people are going to tune out. His channel is going to sink like all these other bigger channels that are already sinking. Look at Cali Muscle. He's sinking. He has like 3 million, almost 4 million subscribers, but gets like 20, 30,000 views on average per video. So like people got to wake up. All these slow brain idiots. I don't know what brainwashing drug they're on but people gotta wake up at this point but anyways if you guys want to check out the rest of it go check it out on bsc tv and nothing but the truth thank you guys so much for watching